Okay guys, so welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life, and today I'm going to be get, doing you a uh, another comic book review that was graced to us by our good friend from the channel, uh, Chris, uh, Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, hope you're watching. And today I'm going to be reviewing an IDW book by the name of The Blaze Brothers, Volume 1. Now, The Blaze Brothers covers the first four issues of The Blaze Brothers Saga. Now, The Blaze Brothers are these two half-brothers who are assassins for the Yakuza, and they are damn good at their job. Now, this, like I said, covers the first four issues, but I really don't want to spoil what comes in here. I will say right out the gate that this is a pretty fucking bloody comic. This is a really freaking bloody book. Not gonna lie, this is a incredibly blood-soaked uh, comic. Like, seriously. This is almost like ridiculous anime, like uh, over-the-top violent anime like Helsing or uh, Blood Sea or Black Lagoon level violence. Like in the first few pages, there's one kill in here that makes me go, wow, someone likes their anime. <laughs> someone likes their violent anime. And that's, a th and, um, that's what I like in here is that this very much feels like a comic that was inspired by very much like animes that I really enjoyed, like Black Lagoon, and some movies like some John Woo movies, as well as Tarantino films. Like, these guys are brothers, but it almost feels like it's Vincent and Pitt from, you know, Vince, you know Vincent and, uh, and uh, Pitt from, um, from uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, it feels like those two characters in here and, uh... <laughs> it feels like those two characters, if they were siblings, that's what... And a lot of the dialogue feels like those two characters. In fact, I'm really sure that John Travolta and, uh, John Travolta and uh, Samuel L. Jackson's characters from Pulp Fiction were the main, um, like, inspiration to create those uh, these two characters of the Blaze Brothers. Now, the Blaze Brothers were two former Black Ops members who did become hitmen for the Yakuza. They were raised by an old Japanese ma um, train, uh, master who's very reminiscent of Pai Mei. Again, making that correlation to uh, some Tarantino films. Um, and yeah, the characters are pretty fun. It's very much... The weird thing, though, is that while this is a four-issue comic, I don't really think the story gets going until, like, the... the, the be like the towards the th end of the third issue and for a four issue trade that's kind of a big issue is that you know your st you, the main crux of the story doesn't really begin until halfway towards the end of the book and that's kind of what I you know I kind of fault it for is that it takes a little while because the first two issues are pretty much establishment which you shouldn't really need two issues to do establishment if you're doing all this world building but yeah and then it just kind of like, oh, so this is, now we're finally getting to the story, but when you finally do get to the said story, um, it does feel like, um, it does feel like it was like, well, I felt like that kind of was wasted, honestly, that felt like a, kind of like, uh, we could have had some move the car George moments, in a way. So that was my uh, kind of peeve with it. While I did like this book, it's good and violent, and it does make me want to read the second volume to make at least make me want to see where we go from here. It does lag. It, this comic, the Blaze Brothers comic, does lag. But what it does lag, it actually does make up for some for some over the top fun violence and some great storytelling. Um, there's some great action in here. There's some great violence. So if you are um, <laughs> Uh, if you are a fan of those, I highly recommend that. It's definitely a comic not for the faint of heart. I will tell you that right now. This is not a comic for the faint of heart. And I know this isn't going to be a long review, but uh, like I said, there isn't a lot in here, but what is in here is kind of full of spoilers. And I, I feel like this is a comic that you should go into spoiler-free. This is definitely a comic that you should go in spoiler-free. And hey, five minute review, this is, you know, this is uh, pretty simple. I mean, Kate Joel does these all the time, so why can't I just pop out a five minute comic review? Yeah, if Kate Joel can do it, why can't I, right? <laughs> no, nothing against Kate Joel, of course. I'm just saying, like, if he can do it, so can I, right? Anyway, so there you go, guys. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this. Chris, thanks again for this contribution to the channel. Loved it. And I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.